Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really simple website. Now this isn't going to be anything special at all. It's just going to show you guys how you can get started with programming and how exactly it might work. We're going to be working with HTML and CSS. Now don't expect this, like I said, to be anything advanced. I'm going to be going into different languages like PHP, JavaScript, Angular, React, and things like that in the near future. But for now, we're just going to focus on creating our own website without the help of anything like Wix, Squarespace, Drupal, or WordPress. Now I am currently going to school for software engineering engineering and I do hardware and software support as my main job uh, for the time being and I hope to uh, get into some place where I can utilize my skills in software engineering but right now I'm just in college and I'm currently in my sophomore year so the only thing that we need to do this it's completely free we just need a text editor now this you know probably sounds pretty cut and simple uh, but I'm using Atom there's a ton of different ones out there for developers you can look up ones I'm gonna leave a few in the description uh, you can use the one that comes with your operating system I know that pretty much every operating system out there like Windows Mac Linux um, all have a built-in uh, text editor and you can use that one or you can download uh, some others and I'll leave a few in the description just because uh, there are uh, some that have benefits like Atom has a bunch of cool different plugins but I'm gonna go ahead and open my text editor really quick and right off the bat, I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to save it to my documents and I'm going to call this index.html and I'm just going to replace the file that's currently in there. Um, but before I do anything, I'm going to go to my documents and open this up in Firefox so I can show you guys exactly what we have going on. Now you can open HTML documents really with any kind of web browser and like you guys will see here we can save our edits and kind of see exactly what we're doing in real time which I like you obviously have to do a quick little refresh to see uh, what the changes were but you can go ahead and do this for free it's really simple so I like I said I created a new uh, file that index.html now index being this um, the web page that we're currently working with Anytime you upload a web page or a page to a web server, it's going to automatically look for the file called index.html. Now, if you have this lonely file on a web server and you go to, you know, example.com, it's going to pull up ex er, index.html as the home page. Now, if you were to add home.html as the only um, web page or the page on the server, it's going to not display that only because it's expecting to find index.html rather than home.html and you would have to do a few different rewrites with like an HT access file to change that and it can get pretty annoying so just make sure that you always have an index.html and it will automatically point to that unless you redirect it with PHP or something so the first uh, line of code that we have to write in any uh, eight or HTML document is called doc type or actually I'm gonna delete that uh, we're gonna create an opening bracket and we're going to type an exclamation point doc type HTML and this just basically explains explains to the interpreter that this is in fact an HTML document um, we don't have really have to worry about anything else like that we don't have to close this or anything uh, so the next thing that we need to create is an HTML tag now anything in this is going to be run as HTML unless you declare otherwise so let's say uh, maybe you're a bit more advanced and you're just trying to brush up on your skills you want to uh, write some JavaScript in your HTML code you would have to open a script tag and in here then you can do um, anything with um, uh, JavaScript or anything like that but we're not going to worry about that now uh, just because this is an HTML video uh, so the next thing that we need to do inside these HTML tags is create a head so in the head apart from the title we can go ahead and just you know import different kinds of JavaScript libraries we can import different kinds of style sheets fonts really anything uh, but apart from that we're just gonna focus on the title right now so if we take a look in the web browser really quick you can see that the title of the tab is just pointing to the file location and this is gonna do this by default unless we declare a title so let's say we want to type an example and I save that so this is the title is basically like I, I like to think of it as the title is basically the title of the tab so if we go to something like Facebook you can see here that Facebook dash login or sign up that is the title of this page now I don't know if this is an index.php uh, or not only because Facebook is very complicated has a lot of rewrites and stuff like that so apart from that um, we're going to be adding a style sheet later but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a minute um, after we add this final tag which is the body and anything inside of this body tag is going to be content so if we want to add um, um, I'm just gonna assume right off the bat that you know just a little bit of HTML and if you don't I apologize I'll link a few websites so you guys can kind of take a look at what it is but h1 means header one and 
the H obviously standing for header and one being the font size and the these headers go from H1 to H6 H6 being the smallest text possible H1 right now I'm just looking to grab the user's attention so I just want to say hello 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 user and I want to say welcome to this really simple site and I'm gonna save that and if we go back to the web page refresh it you can see that these are the things that are currently being displayed now h1 obviously being big we can change this if we don't want it to be too big to h2 and this will be a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna keep it like that and P is standing for paragraph Think about you know navigation or anything right now but we can obviously look at that stuff down the future or down the line later in the future so I'm gonna show you guys how we can style these things to make them look a little bit different so like I said we can link external things like style sheets in the head so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna link a style sheet in the head by typing in uh, style sheet and then the type is going to be text slash CSS and the href is gonna be uh, let's just call this style.css and we can close that so if we go ahead and I'm just going to create a new file I'm going to call this style.css and I'm going to save this in my documents make sure that it's in the same directory otherwise it's not going to pull uh, the styles from that style sheet so if we look back at our index.html file we can see that we have um, a body an h2 and a p tag so we can go ahead and style these uh, by just typing in the names of these tags followed by curly brackets so if I want to make all the headers let's say red um, I can type in h2 because like I said we have an h2 over here and we can type in color um, and we can you know make that whatever we want so we can make this blue or you can add um, a hexadecimal color like um, uh, like if you, uh, I'm just gonna make one up I don't even know what this color would be um, uh, a five so if we go ahead and re uh, do this we can see that it's kind of like a purplish uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and change this color to red so it's a little bit easier to see so like um, we can also change the the color of our paragraph and if we want this to be blue we can just call this color blue and now if we refresh this we'll see that the color is blue and we want the body uh, which is everything that's encased in here to be uh, yellow so we'll make all the primary colors um, but we can see that the color is not going to be anything because it's color we need the background color to be yellow so if we change this now we can see that the entire color of the website is in fact yellow so this is doing exactly what we wanted to do now of course there's a ton of other properties like we can uh, change the font size to you know 25 pixels we can change the uh, font family to sans serif if we don't like times new roman and if we refresh this we can see that this is going to indeed change so if we want everything inside of our html document to be a certain way we can call the html uh, tag and we can call font family and we can do this to sans serif so if i change this uh, if I remove that from paragraph refresh this we can see that everything inside here is sans serif because everything encased in HTML is automatically going to be set to sans serif so if um, let's say I remove the color and the color here I'm just gonna remove this uh, all together um, and let's say I want every single font uh, color to be let's say green and I change this we can see that everything inside here is going to be green and the background color is gone so you can kind of play around with this as much as you want like I said when I said simple website this is kind of what I meant um, obviously you know this is not going to really serve a purpose much to a user but obviously we can go ahead and dive deeper into creating different elements making things look a little bit better and kind of just enhancing our experience uh, for the user as much as possible so obviously if I were to upload this to a web server and say you know this is the next Facebook or whatever people are just gonna kind of look at me weird but this is how um, really any website gets started but yeah guys this is pretty much what I meant when I said a simple web Website. we just looked at two different languages and of course we didn't dive too deep into them just because we're kind of just learning to get the grasp of programming and seeing exactly what it's about uh, for you guys who might be new to developing or are sub to me and have never uh, developed in your life this might look a little confusing and you might be asking why I'm making these types of videos uh, just because you know I enjoy doing hardware and software um, kind of as a whole so I figured that uh, maybe if there are a few people out there who are kind of a little bit interested in development but are are not sure how to get started this is going to be their uh, kind of gateway into that so um, 
that's pretty much it for this video guys if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe I'm going to be doing a few different videos like this in the future uh, just to kind of dip my feet in the water and see uh, how you guys like them or how well they received of course I'm not a teacher so I'm just kind of uh, spewing off how I would best learn this there are a ton of a different websites that will teach you how to do this for free and I'll link those in the description if you guys want to check those out and they do cover different types of languages such as PHP JavaScript HTML C++ C sharp and a ton of different languages I could probably name 50 or 20 off my head right now like I said guys if you have any suggestions for future videos you want to see along with this kind of series I guess the software development series you guys can go ahead and leave a comment in the section below thumbs down this video if you don't like it and of course if I you know get enough dislikes I'll make sure that I don't uh, post any more of these videos but I'm currently waiting on a few different things to make hardware videos about so I figured that I would kind of you know push push out some content so that you guys are not just sitting there waiting for something so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you comment in the section below on some future videos you want to see and I will make sure that I get to them as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.